Hey guys, uh, just a real short video before I hit the sack. Uh, I wanted to show you the 732nd end mills I've got. They're carbide three flute. They're kind of a low helix angle, but they, uh, they've they been working really good in aluminum. I'm getting a really good surface finish with them, surprisingly. Uh, I wonder if they're regrinds, uh, because I got them for so cheap. It's a quarter inch shank, and I bought them on Travers. I subscribe to their email list, so I get an email every day with their hot deals. And uh, these ones were 90% off, so they were 10 bucks regular price. I bought them for a dollar, and I bought 10 of them. Uh, I figured with shipping, if they're junk, I'm out 15 bucks. If not, then I got a good little end mill. And they've been great. Uh, even though they were advertised as the uh, Travers house brand TNO, when they arrived, what I got were Dormer DX3. And I've Googled this and not been able to find that red logo or that little castle or DX3. Uh, they're made in England, I guess. So if anybody knows where to buy these, because you can't even get them on the Travers website uh, if you're searching for Dormer then uh, sh post a comment below, shoot me a link. I'd be interested to find out what they cost regular price and if they are regrinds or if they're, uh, if they're actual 732nd thin mills. Anyway, I've been messing around with the uh, motor mount. So uh, I've got these slots machined. This is for the bolt head of a 1032 bolt. And uh, if I had gone with a, with a quarter 20, I could have just machined this whole slot at once uh, for these to go down in. But I wanted to use a smaller bolt um, for a couple of reasons. And also, I'm trying to, uh, you know, get my nerves up about multiple setups. I'm always nervous that when I unclamp something and change its location that I'm going to lose uh, my accuracy. I'm going to lose my zero. So I machine these from this side. I'm going to flip it over and machine the, uh, the slot for the threads with an eighth inch end mill on the back side. And I've just been setting this up by, uh, you know, sighting this across uh, the T-nut slot to get a parallel and that seems to work really well and then I just zero off of this face and uh, and this face. Um, I know I could build a fancy fixture or put some stops on the table so that I could you know locate it perfectly every time really fast but I, I don't want to build a, a fixture or clamps or uh, stops or anything I don't have any so I'm just doing it this way and uh, trying to get over my fear of screwing up a part by having to unclamp it and reclamp it so um yeah, I, I've got a, with the 732nds, I'm going to remachine these standoff slots because thanks to that bad config file there in the wrong place, then I'll switch over to an eighth inch end mill, uh, finish the slots for the uh, bolts. This is, again, what will allow the whole plate to move back and forth for belt tension. Then the last thing I'm going to do is flip it back over and I'm going to clamp down here in the middle with a strap uh, and then I'm going to machine around the outside to knock these corners off. Anyway, that's it. So uh, scroll down, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.